Hi, this is Gail with Bernina of Naperville, and some of you have been asking about how to get designs that you click on a link and you download and whatever, you know, you, you find the files, but how do you get them from point A to B using a Mac computer? So um, it's pretty easy, but you know, just thought you, you deserved a little run through. This is particularly important for our Embroidery Sampler 2 project. So, uh, let me go retrieve my old Mac computer out from under the door and I'll show you how to do this real quick. So some of you have had questions about how to do this on your Mac computer. So what I've done here is I have saved directly here onto the desktop of my computer. Simply double click that wherever you would save it onto your computer. Some of you might have it in your downloads folder, some might have it on the desktop or whatever, but you're gonna open this design. If you go to your email and you click the link to get this interactive PDF, and that just means you're gonna have to save it somewhere. And so we're gonna go through page by page and there are links in this that you're gonna need to click. This will take you directly to the video if we click this. And I wanna also warn you, this one is saying this document is trying to connect to this. If you trust the site, I mean, that's YouTube. That is our video link. So this is safe. So you can say allow, and then that is gonna open up YouTube and go straight to the video for this lesson. Now, I'm using kind of an old computer here, <laughs> so it's taking a hot minute for it to load. But what I wanna make sure that you know is we can go ahead then and skip this ad. And then, there I am. Okay, and there's our video. Let's go back to our PDF. And then I'm gonna scroll down now, and we're gonna see that there are other things in this document, in, including you know, like the instructions for what pieces we're gonna cut. There are links to product that go directly to our Bernina of Naperville site. So for instance, here, if we go here, you can see the hoops. This will take you to a link, and this is at our BerninaofNaperville.com website. We're gonna also allow that. And I wanna also point this out to you. I, I don't know what the deal is with um, Mac, but they're telling us that our connection is not private. So I'm just gonna go down here to advanced and we are going to go ahead and say, proceed anyway. Don't worry that it's saying unsafe. BerninaofNaperville.com is not a harmful website. Okay. So now we scroll down here and see how that's taking you. You can view the different hoops. All right, so now we're gonna go back to our Adobe Acrobat, which is what opens a PDF. And in addition to those links, now we're gonna go down to one of our embroidery design collections. And we can view the sewing instructions here. If we click that, once again, that's telling you it's okay for us to open this file, and it's just gonna take a minute. And this is going to the Embroidery Online website. And there it is, there's our Divine Flowers and Vines. And then I'm gonna hop on over again to my PDF, and now we're gonna download a design pack. So these are all of the designs that you need for the vines. There's also one for the piece to perfection, but we're going to download this one and we're going to click on it. And it's telling you that this document is trying to connect to cdnshopify.com. Yes, that's Shopify. Yes, they are an e-com site. However, it is where we house our files for anything Bernina of Naperville. So you can trust this site. And we also can just click this button here, remember my action for this site, and it's not gonna ask you this again. And now see down here, see this little area right here where it says divine flowers and vines? Well, that is the downloaded file. So you've successfully downloaded those. So I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna show in Finder. 
and then I see that this is green and that's highlighted and at the very end it says zip. Well, in order to unzip on your Mac, you're going to simply double click and then that is going to extract those files. All right, so we're going to hop over here and put designs onto our USB stick from our Mac computer. So a little bit of housekeeping here is you cannot transfer designs from a iPad, which is a Mac product, onto a USB stick easily because it doesn't have the ports. You know, it only has that one glorious plug that electrifies it, right? So um, you're going to need a computer that has ports and you can see one of my USB sticks is holding my mouse here and then this is another USB stick that I'm going to put this guy into and you know you just got to try the right way I'm a square peg in a round hole kind of person but you put your USB stick in and now let's see how we transfer some data the next important thing is you're going to want a completely blank USB disk to transfer your designs and I'm going to tell you something I have found with a Mac it's really difficult to delete their hidden files or their um, temporary files or whatever the Mac system puts on a USB stick. You can't even really see them on your Mac, but when you go to put them onto a Windows computer or our Bernina's they show up there and you're going to see what I mean in just a minute. So I'm going to plug this stick in and my stick is named Bernina and it's going to show up right here. There it is. Okay, so I'm going to double click this to open it and you can see that it's blank. So after we've determined that this is blank, I'm going to actually go into my downloads folder and I'm just clicking on my name because it's my computer here. And I'm gonna double click Downloads. And then we can start looking for our folder. And we have two folders on here. We've got the Divine Flowers and Vines, and we've got the um, Peace to Perfection right there, okay? And it doesn't matter which one we work on first, but let's do Peace to Perfection. And one of the things that I wanna do is I'm gonna pop this open so we have full screen access on this. One of the things that I want to do is make sure that I can view this like a list, just like this, okay? And then I am going to organize this by kind. I want you to pay attention to the .exp files, and that's why I have you organize those into you know, files of type, because if you try to put every single one of these files on your sewing, on your USB stick, and then subsequently put that on your sewing machine, it's going to have a conniption fit because there is too much data. And, and then you see how it puts our EXP files just here like that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click and then I'm gonna hold down shift and click the bottom one, just like that. And then I'm gonna drag that onto my Bernina stick. Now let's go back and look at our Bernina stick and we see indeed that we have those designs there. So one thing I'd like to do is create a new folder and I'm gonna hover up here see and I'm gonna say file new folder and now I'm gonna call this pieced if I spelled it right piece to perfection and I'm gonna click Hold down shift, click the bottom, and drag these designs into that folder. And so there you can see that folder there. Now I could also go ahead and say file, new folder again, 
And this time we'll call this Divine Vines and Flowers. And now that one's empty, right? So I can go back to my Downloads folder. And there's that Divine Flowers and Vines. And now I'm gonna go back here to my list and then organize that one by kind. And then we can look here for all of our EXP folders. There they are. So I'm gonna click only the .exp. Do you see how that file extension right there, it says .exp, those are the files that you want. All of those ones. So we're gonna click the first one at the top, hold down shift, select the other one. There we go and drag this onto our Bernina stick. And then we're just gonna simply take this, select the top one, select the bottom one, and drag this onto the Divine Vines and Flowers. And ta-da, there we are. And now let's eject that USB stick. And I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this and close it. All right, and now I'm gonna pull my USB stick out and put it in my machine. Okay, so I've inserted my USB stick in my machine and I'm going to select the USB stick. Now the Mac is putting these weird folders on here. So ignore, spotlight, and trashes. Nobody cares about those but we do have our two folders here. So what we wanna do is go to Piece to Perfection, for instance, and you see all of these files that have a dot and an underscore, do not use those. You're gonna scroll ahead to the ones that you can actually see here. So that, if we scroll back, this is the one we're gonna use for block one, this is the one we use for block two, and so forth. And then these are some of the continuous line quilting designs that come with the designs. So then once you find the one, and if you're working on block one, you want to select this one, and then it shows up here and you're ready to embroider. Now, let's, we wanna look at those divine flowers and vines. Well, we're gonna go back to our stick and now Divine Vines and Flowers is here. And once again, remember, we are not gonna use these designs. We're gonna scroll, but this is what I'm talking about. You can't see these designs on your Mac, but you can see them on any device that's not a Mac. So let's scroll ahead and now we can see our flowers. And you're gonna wanna remember that you are going to change these colors. We're going to do it anyway, but these come out in little wacky colors, but that's okay because you're going to change them nonetheless. So we're using this one. Let's say, let's just say we're using this one. We're going to go ahead and change our colors to what, you know, we're recommending in the lesson, but, but that's how this works. So I hope you enjoyed learning how to do this and it's helpful for you. And don't forget to check out our other YouTube tutorials. It's pretty easy. It's youtube.com slash Bernina of Naperville. And there you can like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.